Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing my what's in my labor and delivery bag, my hospital bag, and my diaper bag. So um, a lot of hospitals are different, but in my area, my hospital requires you to have a separate labor and delivery bag and a postpartum after you have the baby hospital stay bag. So that is what I did, and I will warn you, I packed quite a bit of things just because I want to be prepared. Um, after watching like thousands of hospital bag videos and a thousand labor and delivery stories and stuff like that it's, you never know how the labor is going to go so you want to be prepared because you don't know if you need something if you don't need something so i just want to be prepared so first i guess i'll go in order of use i am this is my labor and delivery bag and yes it looks like a lot um i had it in a tote bag but um i was really scared that it was going to fall over and things were going to fall out one and two um when it's sitting on the floor my dog likes to just go and grab things out of it so things started missing so i quickly corrected that but in this bag first thing i have is this little folder um i bought this at target i really wanted to have something because i know they give a lot of paperwork i wanted to bring my, my stuff to show that i registered and any other um like insurance and stuff like that and yeah i just want to have a special place for all of it in here so i wouldn't lose it I was going to bring a Ziploc bag, but I knew I'd lose that in a heartbeat, and this you kind of can't lose. It's kind of bright. Then I have a pair of slippers, and I got these from Target also, and they're like three bucks, but I got these that have the non-slip on the bottom. If I'm having trouble progressing in labor and I need some extra help or anything like that, then um, I can do some walking around the hospital to help that out, so that's why I have those. And I'm not a slipper person, but... Um, everybody really recommended these and so it's like why not they're three dollars just want to make sure that I have everything that I might need and the next thing I actually got this at Walmart this big old jug that has a straw on it and it's a really good idea to get a little tumbler type thing with a straw because it's gonna be really difficult I've had to stay in a hospital before and you, they usually give you a styrofoam cup like a little bitty one that you can pour your little pitcher pour your water in there and they'll give you straws so you don't have to lean up every single time but you take like a few gulps it's gone someone fill it up it's just it's just something that can be a hassle and can be kind of annoying so i'm just bringing this along um to stay hydrated and the next thing i have are these big earphones these are like 19 dollars at barnes and noble i'm pretty sure but i got these just um if i'm trying to take a nap and garrett wants to watch a show he can use these on his phone or if vice versa if he's taking a nap and i don't want to wake him up and I want to watch a movie because I can't sleep. I got these. Also, um, a few moms recommended having some earphones like this that won't fall off your face because you know the little earbuds, they can fall out while you're in labor to listen to relaxing music. I actually downloaded the relaxation station on Pandora and um, it's really, really nice. But you want to make sure that you buy the monthly plan or you buy the premium package. I think that's what it is for at least that month. Um, while you're going into labor because if you're sitting there listening to the most soothing relaxing music it's like on a low volume and you're just like chilled out and all of a sudden this really loud ad comes on it's gonna mess everything up and you're gonna be anxious and it's gonna have an adverse effect so there's a tip for you guys but yeah we got some headphones so this next item is because I am getting an epidural but anyways you need socks and these are some Dr. Scholl's ones that have like the little non-slip grip and I got two in case like if my amniotic fluid um, gets on them I can switch if they get wet or something like that I just want to make sure I had that with me and I got these from Walmart for like I think five dollars but your feet get really cold when you um, have an epidural and yeah so they're really fuzzy ankle socks and since I have those I can take these out I had originally like some ones that I had already some gold thick socks these do not keep your feet warm and they're actually too small for me now since my feet are usually swollen so that'll go there and then I had some tube socks that I had that wouldn't keep my feet warm anyway I was gonna do like a layering effect and the next thing I have is a heating pad now they say that uh, contractions are like really bad menstrual cramps and I use this whenever I have really bad menstrual cramps um, I do have PCOS and endometriosis so I have very 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 painful periods but this really works and helps me through those times so bring that just in case um, I want to use that the next thing i have is this pack of coconut water um coconut water is so so good for you i'm going to try to drink it by itself but usually i have to put a little crystal light in it which is not the best thing but um 
whenever I drink too much water, I get really nauseous and I just don't feel good. So this is something, it's like a natural Gatorade. And so it puts a little bit of sugar in my system, gives me all the nutrients and stuff that I need. It's thicker, so it holds on into my stomach better. And um, yeah, I really like it. So I just got a little four pack of those. And if I wanted to, I can put this in my water bottle with um, some ice in there. So I have that. And the next thing, I have this little bitty bag. This is usually my makeup bag, but um, I'm using a smaller bag for the hospital for that. But in here I have this little thing for quarters. I'm slowly collecting quarters around the house. So I want to have like a few more dollars worth of quarters. But I think I have like three bucks worth of quarters in case I go into labor at 2 in the morning. And Garrett's starving and he can't eat. Or if they allow me to eat, I'm not that far along yet. Then we have that. Um... The next thing I have are these little Werther's Original Soft Caramels. Now I got these just so if I start getting lightheaded, um, I can suck on these. Because um, if I'm in a really long labor and I'm not supposed to be eating anything, this will make me feel better. Honestly, the coconut water, if they allow me to drink, then that'll take care of that. But I just wanted to have these in case. Then I have like a handful of little gum. Ugh. Some gum in case. Then I have that in here for me and everybody else. Because I'm going to be sitting there breathing pretty hard into people's faces. I'm pretty sure they're going to appreciate that. And the next two things I have Crystal Light. Little squeeze drinks mixes. I have the Black Cherry Lime and Pomegranate Lemonade. And this is what I plan on putting in the coconut water. Now, I'm very sensitive to taste. Like weird tasting water. So I don't know how the water tastes at the hospital. But if it has a funky taste to it. And I still need to get it down. Then I'm going to put these in there with it. I just do like a tiny little squirt in there. And it does me good and this is a little victoria's secret makeup bag that i've had for years and the next little bag i have in here is kind of like my breastfeeding little bag i brought it with me in my labor bag just in case um my nipples start hurting or something um but yeah so the first thing i have is this little evian spray if i'm in labor i get really hot really easily and I could see me being cold and then when I start to push getting really sweaty and feeling lightheaded. So this already really helps me during the summer months and I absolutely love it. So I'll have Garrett spray my face with that. And then in here I have this little container. Uh, it's like a lush container. They give you little samples. But I put coconut oil in there. So also I want to use that first if um, my baby has dry skin or if my nipples are cracking or something like that. I can put this on there. It's a really natural Way of hydrating myself so I can use that and if it's they're really bad and really cracked which I know they won't be bad until like further in this day if I'm having trouble but I have the Lancino lanolin cream and yeah, and also the coconut oil is if the baby is allergic to this or she doesn't respond well with it um, got that and then I have some disposable Lancino uh, breast pads and then I have two cotton ones. Now these cotton ones I've worn before because I have started leaking colostrum. Like the middle of my second trimester, like 20 weeks, and I'm already um, 36 weeks today. So these are good. I just have to put a lot of coconut oil or Vaseline or something in between this and my breast because it, it really does irritate. But so I'm just bringing a pack of two of these. For all of these, I have this. And so the next thing I have this um, Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. Now, not the best um, chapstick ever, but it has like this minty tingling effect that I think will be really refreshing if I'm pushing and I'm like having trouble. So the next thing I have these little Colgate Max Brush uh, Wisp thingies. Also, if, uh, Garrett's eaten and we're in, I don't have our toothbrushes with us here. And if we want to quickly like freshen up, then we have that. And then I have two little hair ties and then I have a large and a small um, fingernail clipper just in case my nails are ridiculously long which I need to clip them now they grow like weeds and I don't want to have like really long um, fingernails whenever she comes out I don't want to scratch her or anything and all this goes in this little baby bag that I got from Lu Luacetane I don't know from it was a little set that a little gift set that came from Sephora and the next thing I have in here, I have a shirt for Garrett because we definitely want to do skin to skin. Um, I'm going to do it first and then I want him to do it also, which he really wants to as well. And this is one of his softest um, button up in the front little flannel shirts. So it'll be nice and soft for her. I did wash this in the Dreft um, stuff. I did a few rinses because Dreft smells horrible. 
you don't like um, baby powder smell, don't use Draft. Or if you use it, just use multiple cycles of it. But I have this shirt for him so they can easily unbutton it and lay her on his chest. And then for me, I have this robe. I got this from Motherhood Maternity and a sleepwear, two hearts, maternity, I don't know. But it's just this uh, medium, or sh it's just this short robe. So when I have the hospital gown, it does cover up my backside if I wanna walk around the hospital. And also I can easily open it to breastfeed with her while we're still um, in labor and delivery waiting to go and move into our postpartum room. So I know that was a lot in my labor and delivery bag. I just wanna be prepared. Um, all you really need, um, to be honest, if you're not someone who wants a lot of things, just have like a robe that you can throw on to cover your backside. Um, have some socks with grippers that can double as slippers and socks. And you always wanna make sure you have your insurance card, all of your information that you need as well, which will go in that little folder um, when that time comes. And little things like that, but I think I'm really well prepared. I'm going to be very, very well off. And also a thing that I'm bringing, I'm bringing this big green pillow for Garrett. And inside I have this thick um, coral colored blanket. I just folded it in there. So because the doctors told me that they keep the rooms really, really cold to um, soothe the mother. So whoever's pushing and having the baby, they can be more comfortable. They're the main ones that matter. So it's probably going to be like an Arctic. It's going to be really cold in there. My husband does really well with it cold in the house. But I just want to make sure that he has a thick enough pillow. They'll have thin pillows there. But I want to make sure that he has like a cover that is thick enough that can go over the hospital blanket that they give him. Just to give some extra added warmth. I want to make sure he is comfortable. The next thing I have when baby comes, I have this nursing pillow. And I have two covers. And I have them, I brought this spare one in case she spits up on it or gets um, meconium or anything like that on it, I have a spare cover. And honestly, I didn't know I got the exact same print, but whatever. And so then we have a diaper bag, which we honestly don't need to bring a diaper bag. I had her stuff um, packed in mine, just a few onesie socks and a hat and some wipes because our hospital does not provide wipes. They just have like the gauze and cotton pads and they give you like a bottle of water to wipe them up, but I need some pads. So, um, Anyway, that could have fit in our suitcase, but Garrett was really excited about this. His mom got him a diaper bag, which I guess I'll go ahead and uh, reveal the name. Her name is going to be Parker. So this is Parker's daddy. And I just thought that was so cute. But this is a pretty good diaper bag, and this would be great for him. So I went ahead and decked it out and filled it up with everything that we possibly need, just because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so um, back here, it has this little opening. And in here, I put in here some disposable little changing pad covers. And then he has his changing pad that comes with the uh, diaper bag so it's actually kind of small so I don't know if we're gonna buy another one a lot of the diaper are the changing pads are really small for these diaper bags but anyways over here I just put filled it with some little wipes so you can quickly grab out of there and wipe her hands her face whatever he needs over here I have nothing in here I'm pretty sure this is the insulated yeah bottle thing so nothing in there and in the front I have th this little thing that we got from a shower so he can throw if it's a really dirty diaper he can throw her stuff in there or her dirty diaper in there and throw it away it's kind of like a dog pooper scooper bag same thing but in this one I have all of her like medical ish stuff um I'll show you you'll understand I have the honest company hand sanitizing gel I have a thermometer, some scissors, a pen to write stuff down, um, a little bitty comb. She does have quite a bit of hair. We saw an ultrasound. Um, we got her a nail clipper, which we're not gonna clip her nails in the hospital. They recommend you bring your own clippers, but this is just in here for future purposes. I just couldn't help myself. Um, we have a lot of little onesies with mittens on them. We can always just put socks on her hands if, you know, she, uh, has really long nails a little bitty brush um this doesn't need to be in here but it's like a little tooth soother thingy you move over plastic thing you put on your finger and you can massage their gums when she's teething a little aspirator which i know the doctors are going to give us one but it's going to be here anyway in the future and then we have some little bitty nail files which she's not going to need um 
honestly i've heard that you can just peel off their nail like the tip of it because it's going to be so fine like so so super fine and sensitive that if you try to buff it away with a file it's just going to like rip her finger it's going to pretty much just buff her skin which i do not want to hurt her in that way so we'll just put some socks on until i feel comfortable with um i feel comfortable with uh cutting her nails but in the front there's this other little pouch and in here i have these really cute crocheted socks that um, one of my co-workers made for her or not socks but little bitty crocheted little booties and they're so freaking cute so i'm hoping that we'll be able to put these on her um to come home in um i just thought those were precious so i got those and i have her two socks one that says i love mommy and has little grippers and has a little heart this will go with pretty much all of her outfits I packed. And then this lighter pink one to go as well. And then this really small bib that says, I ha my heart belongs to daddy. So that's really cute. So that's all that's in that pouch. And so in the big compartment, I have stuff with things. So the first thing I have is a, this is like a uh, swaddling receiving type blanket. It's really thin. It's gonna be hot as hell because I am, my due date is June 30th and it's already really, really hot down here. So I have that one, it's really pretty. And the outfit I want her to come home in, which I'm obsessed with, is this one. Isn't that so cute? It says little sister and it has these little bitty things that you can put over her hands for mittens, her feet are covered. And she's gonna be a little sister to our doggies because our dogs were children before um, we have her. So, and it has a zip up as well so that's really cute and this is newborn and i got it from target um we actually got it off our registry but and if that's too small we have this little bitty onesie that's kind of like a terry cloth type material it doesn't have mittens on it but we can put socks on our hands and then it has like a little rat head on the back we got that at our shower too and the next thing we have this little bitty onesie if it's too hot and it says daddy's sweetheart and if she's really really tiny that'll be perfect for her and if she's still really tiny we want to cover her hands we have these Gerber, um, it's actually zero to three months. This looks like a newborn, but it has these little mittens as well. And then I want to get a picture of her in this. I brought Garrett's Superman shirt. He always wears it. And when I first found out I was pregnant, I bought a Superman onesie for a girl and a Superman onesie for a boy. And so this is the Superman onesie for the girl, the new Supergirl. And I want them to take a picture together with that on. And then also if she's even bigger, I Love Kisses, um, it's just a, another onesie. And then this one, I hope she'll fit in, but I think it's going to be too big. But my sister got it for her. It says, Awesome Since Day One. And that's so cute. And this is from Target as well. It doesn't have mittens. Again, I can use the socks. And so next in here, I have a full thing of wipes. Pamper Sensitive. And I brought two of her little loveys. Um, this one's going to stay in Garrett's uh, diaper bag because it's a little more boyish and it's just really cute. But what we are planning on doing is bringing these in me and the baby sleeping with them. Or like when she's breastfeeding or something, have this on us so both of our scents get on it. And whoever's coming to walk our dogs, they can let them smell it and like rub up on it and stuff like that. That's so they can get used to her smell. And next, I get this thing out with newborn onesies from Pampers. I know a lot of people say that uh, Huggies and Pampers fit differently, so I have this little sample thing of the newborn Huggies wipes and two diapers and see how it fits on her. Um, I'm sure the Pampers will work fine, but I just want to do that just in case. And then it has this little other section, and I have these cloth diapers that I'm going to use as burp cloths. They're in there. And there's another zipper back here, which Garrett can put whatever he has or what he wants in there and also up front he can put his wallet and his car keys there so it's a really good bag it's very spacious and it'll be able to fit obviously you can see anything and everything that she, her little heart desires so the reason why there's so many clothes in there because i honestly could not decide on what i wanted her to wear when she comes home and they're all different sizes too so i just want to make sure she fits well in what she's wearing and she's not either being swallowed or being choked by what she's in all right guys so for her hospital bag in the postpartum room where we'll be spending most of her time i have a carry-on rolling suitcase but i have it packed full of quite a bit of things so i'm just going to go ahead and get started um, with clothing first i have a pair of really cheap 98 cents flip-flops from walmart for garrett 
and the same for me for when we want to take a shower he doesn't want to leave the hospital room at all throughout the entire stay even though we live like three minutes away from the hospital he doesn't want to leave so i got him some flip-flops so he can take a shower there um my husband likes to change socks a lot so i got quite a bit of a lot of socks i don't know if i'm gonna have a cesarean i don't know if i'm gonna have like you just don't know how long you're gonna be there so i have one two three four five and half of these i can wear myself but i have five socks and this is the superman t-shirt that he has that i want her to take a picture with him in and all and again all these have been washed with draft so i have that he likes to wear white undershirts under things and i just brought him one and so if it's really cold in there um i have a long sleeve black shirt for him so he can stay nice warm and toasty then i have two pairs of boxers for him and then i have a pair of cotton shorts a pair of long navy blue pants just because that's the only ones he has that he doesn't really wear that often and these would be really great for him to lounge around in just be comfortable then i brought this scarf it's like an infinity or have it tied like an infinity scarf um so i can breastfeed i mean i have the swaddle blankets and other things that i can use but i think this would be really really good it's thick and opaque so you can't see through it so when company's coming over i can have her breastfeeding and then i have two nightgowns um this is one i've had forever i don't even know where i got it but it's just a little plain basic nightgown and i can easily breastfeed in that and surprisingly i still fit in this thing kind of impressed with myself or kind of worried but yeah so i have that one and then i have some knee-high socks so i can just cut if i haven't shaved my legs or you just don't know what the situation is i want to make sure i have that stuff covered up and it's not like hairy man peeking out from under the covers which which i know nobody's gonna care i just pushed out a watermelon out of my vagina but and so for other clothing i have just a basic um i went and bought a pair of pajama bottoms from target and they're so comfortable they're almost like a silky cotton feel so that'll be good for me to lounge around in and then I got this pajama set. It's not the most attractive thing in the world, but it's the only one they had that had pants in my size. So it buttons up the top so I can easily breastfeed. And it's so soft. It's by Gilligan and O'Malley, which I've heard great things about that, that brand. And it came with matching shorts, so if it's too hot, I can pop those on. And then I brought one nursing tank. Honestly, I feel like I'm just going to be in my robe the whole time and just like be able to expose myself that way but if not I have this nursing tank that I can use or at least wear home and then for my going home shirt I just have this really big flowy tunicky type thing that I can wear with leggings I can wear my jeans um and I'll be really comfortable which I am wearing my jeans right now I only have one pair of maternity jeans so um I'll probably pack that at the last minute Hey guys, so I'm just going to randomly pop in the video and talk about what's in my toiletries and makeup bag. Um, I completely forgot to put this in there because I have it sitting out on my sink and also have beside it this little bag, my electronics, a little baggie here. So it's sitting there so we can throw all of our stuff in there at last minute. And I use the exact same makeup that I'm bringing to the hospital every single day. So I have that bag packed, but it's just open and sitting on my uh, sink to do my makeup every day. So this little bag is like a terry cloth type material. So in here, I have my first on top, I have my makeup bag and I have my brush bag. I got both of these at Target recently. They're both $6.99, I'm pretty sure. So I'll go ahead and show you what's in my makeup bag and what I'm bringing. And I might not want to put on makeup, but honestly, my skin is so blotchy in like different areas from my hormones that I'm going to want to cover up and conceal, stuff like that. So first thing I have in here is this little um, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray packaging, but inside is actually the L'Oreal um, Pro Matte Infallible uh, Setting Spray. Then I have my favorite uh, powder. It's the Maybelline. Fit Me Matte and Poreless uh, 100 Translucent Powder. Then I have, this might seem really high maintenance to you guys, but it really does give me the perfect coverage. But I have the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro Foundation in Shell Beige and the Ready Set Gorgeous by CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Foundation in 110. And these two together are magic. They last a long time and they really do well with my skin. 
The next thing I have in here is my Voluminousness Manga Rock Mascara. It's really good mascara. And then for under eye concealer, I'm just going to bring my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer um, in the Brightening Illuminating one. And then I, for my eyebrows, I'm not going to fill them in or anything. I'm just going to bring my Milani Brow Shaping Clear Wax. Then I have my Urban Decay um, Matte Eyeshadow in Naked. And the next thing, I'm only bringing this in case I have really red eyes. Um, like after giving birth, I'm like stressed out or really tired and people want to come in and take pictures. I won't have like super red eyes um, and this will help brighten everything up too. It's the Milani Brown Eye Highlighter and I use the matte cream on my waterline. And then this little container, not what this usually comes in, but it's the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer in Eden. And I, my bottle was broken when I received it in the mail, so I just went ahead and depotted it and put it in here. It has this really little zipper pouch over here that I have um, two little hair ties. And for my face and my eyes, I'm bringing this little palette from, it's the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette. Love the bronzer wearing it today, the highlighter, the same, I wear that on my eyes. Blush, not a big fan of, but does come in the kit. I don't want to bring an extra blush if I need to liven up my face. So I have that in there as well. And that just sits in this little other pouch that comes on the side like so. There is a little matching case for my brushes. And in here I have my foundation brush. It's the sculpting brush by Real Techniques. I have a Sigma um, Taper Face F25. That's going to be for my bronzer that I use and to contour. I have my Sigma Large Powder F20 brush uh, for powdering my entire face. I have this little um, Large Powder F30 for blush. Then I have this uh, setting brush that I just set around my eyes with uh, Real Techniques. Then for highlight, I have the Real Techniques uh, fan brush. Love that guy. And for my Naked by Urban Decay um, eyeshadow, I'm using the Sigma Blending E25 brush, just like a basic blending brush. And to pack on the shimmery highlighter color in my um, face palette, I'm using the Urban Decay just a shadow brush. It's just flat, like almost like a concealer brush. And then to comb out my eyebrows, I have my brow and lash brush. So guys, forewarning you, I have a lot of products. So the rest of this is my toiletries. So in here, I have shampoo and conditioner. And I have some Q-tips. Some dry shampoo, the Herbal Essence Naked Dry Shampoo. It's the only uh, sample they had or travel size they had, so I grabbed that. Got some cotton pads. I have my Morning Moisturizer, the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion AM Sunscreen. I have two little packets here for a toothbrush for me and my husband, Garrett. I have my one little clip, a claw clip, that I'll be bringing with me. I have our favorite body, body wash that we like to use I have some Visine eye drops got a little travel size deodorant then I have a shower cap and then I have a leftover toothpaste from the last trip we took have some mouthwash then I have my face cleanser my toner and my eye cream and then I also have a lip balm and a my favorite um, perfume which I don't really wear perfume ever but if I just really smell or just really want something uh, familiar smelling, then I have a little travel of that. And then I have some emery boards and a little comb. Okay, so that's everything that is in my toiletry bag. Um, the reason why it's sitting out on my counter is because these two items, I don't have a travel thing for either of these. And there's not much left in this eye cream thing. Anyway, so last minute, I'm going to throw these into the bag. All right, back to the regular video. And so my suitcase has this like little middle divider section. And inside there, I have three things. I have earbuds, so if, um, or earplugs. So if Garrett is trying to sleep or if I'm trying to sleep, I know the nurses are coming in every 15 seconds. Not 15 seconds. 15 minutes to check you um, after you give birth. So these are going to be really great to drown out the noise so I don't fully wake up when they check me. And also for gear too. But then I have this shoe bag that I'm going to use for like laundry bag. Yeah, I carry it with me everywhere. It just lives in my carry-on. Every time I travel, that's what I do. And the next thing I have this really big black bag. Um, I think I got from Victoria's Secret for free. But um, I'm just going to fill this with whatever supplies they want to give me. Like extra diapers, 
um, some extra those little mesh underwear things which any extra pads or medicine or anything like that um, whatever they want to give me I'm gonna take so I have a bag for that and so also I have like this pack of like five uh, granny panties which I call them granny panties they're like kind of like a soft silky but they're really tall they go up above my belly button and so I have those they do give me mesh underwear that looks like a boy short um, at the hospitals but I'm not sure if they're gonna be comfortable with me. I have very sensitive skin so it could break me out but I want to make sure that I had backup that I don't mind ruining in my bag just in case because um, you bleed a lot after you give birth and if I have a c-section then it'll cover up the stitches it won't like rub into them in any way so next I have this really big robe that I got from Target this goes past my knees and I really like it. it's really soft I'm actually gonna use this as my towel for whenever I get out of the shower um, after baby's born so it's really soft and really long so I love that and then for Garrett I got him just a regular and for Garrett I just got him a regular towel from her house that he can use so because I know that at the hospitals they have these really small towels and they're super thin and they don't draw off anything and they're really scratchy and the next few things are for me I know they're gonna have these items but I want to make sure I have my own so maybe they can show me how to use them which I think I know how to use them but anyways I have tux pads this is not just for your booty if you have hemorrhoids it's also for your under regions for after you pushed out a thousand pound baby um this will help soothe that it's the medicated cooling pad so so i have the super thick all-nighter ones and i have the super thin all-nighter ones these are the ones i like to use normally the yellow ones but i got the overnight ones of each just in case i need those then i have another thing of pampers wipes so i can use to clean her up also this is what i use for my makeup removing wipes or as my makeup removing wipes and then I pretty much just have a smorgasbord just in case um, we don't want to use the vending machine or um, can't use the vending machine. But first I have these little carnation breakfast little packets. I just need a cup of milk and I put this in there and it gives me a lot of in gives me a lot of nutrients and energy. I've been using these my entire pregnancy and the, in my first and second trimester this is the only way I could gain any weight. And so I have these in case I can't eat. I don't feel like eating afterwards. I can drink this and I will be good another thing these are for garrett um i have two nutter butter uh peanut butter sandwich cookies and two newtons fig newtons it's not a big fit a fan of processed candy like this or processed um snacks like this but it's what we had in the house so that's what i'm using <clears throat> next i know you need a lot of fiber after you popped out a baby so much dramatic things have happened down there so everything's out of whack so I've got some fiber one oats and chocolate bars I have some trail mix so I can get my salty and sweet kick in and from Trader Joe's I got these organic corn chip dippers it's the same thing as uh, corn chip Fritos but I got these because every single time I do like I work a lot I crave salt and sweet things but mostly I crave corn chip thingies so I brought these just in case I wanted them and the last thing I got some crispy rice milk chocolates it's like a crunch bar but these are from Trader Joe's and I really really like them and if I want chocolate something really sweet then this will definitely do the trick the only other thing that I need is get an extension cord for my labor and delivery bag and then I need to get a body wrap so for after the baby comes I can put it around my stomach it can help everything shrink back in okay so that is everything besides my car seat I still need to put that in the car I obviously need a car seat to bring baby home but that'll be put in tomorrow the next day and hopefully I don't give birth before then because that would be really awkward but guys I know this was a super long video and I really appreciate those of you who stayed and stuck it out good for you um, also if there's any moms to be um, partners anybody who's been through this if you have any advice to things that I'm leaving out because there's still some room in this bag and all my bags I can still fit stuff in there so don't be worried about that um just let me know and I will make sure I get them but yeah guys thank y'all so much for watching I love y'all all very much and I'll see y'all later bye hey guys so today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me video also updating you guys on my 36 week of pregnancy pretty much gonna be working out of the bags that I am bringing to the hospital